Wet gangrene, dry gangrene. Chronic ulcer on the bottom. That little line right there is infected. The black part is not infected, it's actually mummified. If he just had that black part, we wouldn't have to do anything at all. But because he has that part that is a skin color change, that is the issue. So that's what we gotta do is we gotta cut his foot off because of that. So leg gets small, small, about right here, big, small, big, big, so right here in the middle. So all you do, and we have the tourniquet up, so we can get away with doing this without much blood loss. And again, this, will, this is the first part of his operation. He'll have a repeat operation um, in a few days once we get this necrotic tissue removed. Again, nothing fancy. And now the skin comes off. That's the infection right here. Versus this, the skin doesn't come off. This is the dry part of his foot. So it's mummified, hard. This is soft. So this is wet. This is wet gangrene. This is dry gangrene. This is an emergency. This is not. So then, And that's that section. This is the bone here, broke a little part. But yeah, so we'll put a wound back up, come back and fix it later. Wet gangrene, dry gangrene, needs to have an operation, surgical emergency. You can really see the difference between these toes. This is uh, wet gangrene, this color, versus this is dry gangrene, and this is all just necrotic dermis, hard, basically human leather. So this is the wound back. After we put it so on. this is the leg going back there, right below. So this is this line. And then what we do is we're doing a posterior flap. So you draw it from here, and that should be long enough to be able to cover that stump. So this is going to give him in here. We'll come across the sap in his vein with the bleeding. Right here. And we're just gonna okay. And you can see we're pulling this back, so now we have just enough fascia to cover. Uh, okay. All right. Now Higher than the tibia. Then you cut it. And then once you do that, close it up. And then once you've got to, like the car number 250 D is after that. And go up here. Alright, so anyway, so we let the tourniquet down, and what we're doing now is just going through looking for small bleeders. Um, we got the trunk ligated. That blood there is just from venous bleeding. If you squeeze it. Um, honestly, here. Oh, yeah. I'm not closing on the layer. And then once you come lateral, you can see you have a lot more give. And that's pretty much how you do a VKA. Thank you.
And that's my uh, PA student. She's riding the struggle bus, but we still love her. God bless the struggle bus.